Recorded Future's biggest customer set is in the cybersecurity area, and more specifically in the threat intelligence and security operations center groups. So what we found recently is that, you know, call them Fortune 2000, Global 2000 companies are inherently and more and more getting very worried about cybersecurity. In Japan, we've seen how Sony was hacked in, in a way where not only did hackers come in to steal information, but along the way, throw in firebombs, just blowing things up, literally. In, 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 in a, just a crazy fashion. So this has made this issue move to the boardroom level. And, and that means that companies have gone from investing in a little, little firewall here, or firewall there, to actually putting in place fairly sophisticated organizations. So intelligence groups whose job it is to try to look ahead of threats actually hitting the company, as well as operations center groups whose job it is to keep 24 seven, 365 watch of what's happening to the company and really understanding threats as they're coming in and be able to triage them and take action in real time. So we run, what we'd like to think about as the largest collection of open source in the world, from sort of the darkest, ugliest corners of the web to you know social media to more mainstream media sites or you know the smallest little newspaper in Cameroon. And, and we pick up all that content in real time. So we see Xi Jinping traveling from Moscow to Madagascar. That, you know, becomes even that is sort of interesting. Then it gets mentioned 10,000 times on the web, and we've got to be able to pull that together. And so we have this just massive um, analysis pipeline that allows you to string these pieces together and then put that into user interfaces and alerts that users can use and to, to deliver insight. How do I spell Xi Jinping? You know, a lot of mis misspellings of Xi Jinping. So that's sort of interesting in itself. Then you start getting into to sort of more chatty content, social media type content that gets short and condensed and then you allow sort of overlay in our world cybersecurity sort of speak on this with lead speak whatever you have sort of gangster speak whereas this sort of gets you know interesting in itself and then you put foreign language to that and then actually you, you see that more and more the, is the juicy content coming out of stuff like pastebin and github where it's mixed up with technical content Thinking about a specific customer where Recruit Future really had tremendous impact, I'll, I'll talk about an asset manager, somebody, one of the largest asset managers in the world who, who just you know, takes care of billions and billions, probably up towards trillions of dollars for uh, you know, pe people who have sort of trusted their money with them. The sort of asset manager or trust is everything. So now, actually, everything from sort of understanding, are people trying to do things to the brand? To, are people trying to steal the money? Or even, and this is, becomes the tricky part, are bad things happening to the companies around this asset manager? So their suppliers, their, uh, the people they manage money for, every aspect of this distributed company becomes very important. So what we helped them with was to be able to throw a very broad network across their supply chain. And then when they see issues, whether it's you know one of their people they're managing money for, or not people, but companies that they're managing money for, or somebody on their supply chain, they can we can immediately alert them with that, and they can heighten their defenses before that threat vector may hit them. And the impact of that can just be tremendous, whether it's sort of protecting the brand or you know, down to protecting the firewall and protecting the money, it's you know, probably both. We do some incredibly cool work in the world of predictive analysis. It's sort of in, in our company name, Recorded Future. But we at the same time always caution people with like, there is no big easy button in the world of analysis. I've sort of lived my whole life trying to teach people there is no easy button in this. There is not a button that I push to just say, tell me who the terrorists are or tell me who the Russian hacker is gonna show up at the door tomorrow. There, it's just not that easy. We've done terrific work on, for example, being able to predict IP addresses that are going to be malicious within the next week. Incredible, incredible work that sort of leverages our whole open source collection, overlays it on a ground level of truth from um, threat lists of IP addresses and can then do predictions about what's going to be bad next week. Those sort of things are obviously incredibly strong. At the same time, a lot of the value that we provide is providing the analytical tools 
for the smart humans. I've talked about a cyber threat intelligence analyst here, but you might talk about a stock analyst or you might talk about a, you know, insurance analyst, what, what have you. Any sort of guy like that or woman who's doing their work find that they're spending 80% of their time collecting data and 20% doing analysis. And, and real, maybe it's more like 70, 10, and the rest on reporting. So they want to spend the time on analysis. Our job is to make it so that we can radically shrink the amount of time for collecting and organizing data and put that time to enable the analysts to apply their smarts. And if we do that really well, we change the whole world. So in Tokyo at the conference, I hope to talk about first about how we can apply big data to unstructured information. And, and because I think a lot of people get intimidated by that, that unstructured data, unstructured information is hard to turn into analytics. And we've learned a ton of experiences working with bases and other core technologies in, in terms of how to do that. So I'll talk about that. And I'm going, also going to talk about how we can apply big data techniques to cybersecurity and really make breakthroughs in how a company can defend itself to, to unknown threats.